coming here. Welcome back to Langries of 4.0 News from the Future. So right before we carry on, really gotta say a great um apologies that I've been dragging the demo play of Wedham and um the playthrough of the building of your own floating city for quite some time. <laughs> but I gotta say, oh my god, did not expect to have so much surprise on this upcoming uh, design, oh no, sorry, September end to October news, which we will be having more characters with 3C, and we're gonna have a new SP characters, and then followed by two new upcoming hero with a great long list of spells to go through. So. Great apologies and thank you guys for following. So yep, before we carry on, a great thanks to information shared and provided by Mong Huang Moni So you, aka the language mobile app. So right. So I will try to cover up um, the demo play of Wet Ham and the building of floating CD in this upcoming week <laughs> as possible. So sorry for the wait. So right and on this part one of my video will be going through on three new three C's for three characters namely Angelica and followed by the long await three C of these characters everyone has been waiting for he is none other than Elwin and I gotta say he's definitely a great um, surprise for everyone um, based on tax alone which we'll go on later so and last but not least we're gonna have Lewin our first R card characters receiving his first 3C move so right without further ado let's get started so okay this is an icon Angelica so the red word is her skills the name is I'm um, gonna go translation with absolute Reliable Ray. So, okay, um, it has a cooldown of one turn, a cast range of three squares or tiles, and the range of four squares or tiles. So, okay, it's actually a healing skill with much more random surprise in it. Okay, so hear me out. So, okay, it's an active heal skill. So, number one, um, heal multiple units in range based on three times the caster intelligence. Number two, dispel to debuff effect from the heal allies. Number three, after using the skills, there's a 50% chance that the skill CD will be reduced by one and allows the allies to gain the following side effect, which has four different kind of form. Yeah, <laughs> so it's um, very short CD skills and well, with plus and minus effects, which is kind of random, but if you do it right, you get a lot of benefits, so right. So the side effect, you will have a 50% chance to get um, either of the following. So number one, it will be spirit form. All possible terrain will be treated as flat land, and when passing, uh, when enemy is blocking through a path, you will ignore them and able to pass through them. I mean, provided your steps allow. So example, if you're using Leon, he get this spirit form effect. Um, so let's say from tau squares or tiles one to fifth, if there is two enemies blocking at tiles three and four, you can just ignore them and pass through straight on to your fifth squares or tiles so yep it's quite um definitely quite useful so you get a free effect okay number two giant form damage deal increased by 10 percent and damage taken increased by five percent so this the double edge swords ability so you will do extra damage to enemies but at the same time enemies will be dealing additional damage to you but though you can see and wager that the pros are more than the cons. Then next we have tiny form. Damage deal reduced by 5% while AOE damage taken are reduced by 10%. So again, uh, this is kind of, again, 
more pros and cons even though you have your damage due to enemy reduced by 10% however AoE damage taken by your allies will be reduced by 10% hmm. and the last one is steel form so uh, basically just very straightforward steel form um, your ally with this effect will not get their position shift and this effect will last for a turn and in fact all of the above side effect will only last for a turn so you can just keep casting every turn if I'm not wrong so yeah and this will be the animation of a tree C so okay never mind um, so at the end of the video I will uh, show you case you guys the direct translation I have done for all the 3C skills effect and the animation of the 3C move of the of these characters so stay tuned to the end so next the long awaited character Elwyn his 3C known as Eternal Glory so the cooldown is a fight and cooldown attack range of 1 and it's only a effect a single target unit so yep and the great deal is that it has both passive and active and this is going to be a good news for everyone he is the first character to have passive sorry faction buff for passive skills so, all right let us go so okay passive skill number one at the start of battle when allies or when ally dies all glory of light allies on the field will have offensive and defensive stats increase greatly so basically it's like um, at the start of a match you do not have to activate faction buff it will kind of all be automatically cast for you um, though there will be some I, I do believe some players might say it, uh, it's a bit of a side effect in, in a way I'm going to call it because um, what if you do not want to activate the faction belt at the first turn so um, they feel might be a waste but not a very big issue then so okay the thing is one the start of battle this faction buff will be cast and when allies die when any allies dies the buff will be cast again so what is not being explained here is if your allies die does the faction buff consider or will be recast so the turn will be rerun again or it will just be extended by an additional turn or not it's not being clearly explained here but based on what it is written i am going to presume once an allies die the faction buff will be recast Okay, number two, damage deal in battle increased by 15% for allies that receive the buff. Then number three, for every ally that dies, increase damage by another 3% for the rest of our allies. It is being capped at a maximum of 12%. So under normal situation that means if there's a 5v5 match the last one standing which is most likely Elwin so he's gonna be receiving 12% plus the second effect of damage deal in battle increased by 15% so he's a 12 plus 15 a total of 20% damage increase so this is definitely a great booster for glory of light heroes and I gotta say one thing I noticed is that um, they do not say uh, if summon units is considered the word used here in this whole text is just allies so I'm gonna presume uh, it's gonna go very greatly with characters like let me guess glory of light heroes you're gonna have Liana who can summon an angel and you're gonna have Akaya again from glory of light um, she can easily spam and summon her soul wolf or spirit wolf you call it. so it's gonna be a very great booster for the whole team or your allies if you're trying to go on a full glory of light booster 
However, even if you're not playing Glory of Light team for the other allies, the effect can still be triggered because the effect stays as long as an ally dies. So apparently they did not um, specifically say that um, the ally that dies must be from Glory of Light. So I'm going to presume um, a lot of black tech play or ideas will be coming into play. So we're going to be looking at how those pro experts be playing soon. So it is going to be his animations. And then, okay, so you got to carry on. So don't worry, at the end of the video, you'll be looking at the summarized tags I'll be writing for everybody. Then, all right, all the above effects for this passive will last for four turns and do not stack with other faction buff. Then, all right, now we're going to his active skills. So, number one, attack a single enemy and do 1.8 times damage. Number two, dispel five buff from enemies before battle. Number three, disable enemy's passive skills. This effect will last for two turns and is undispellable. Number four, target enemy cannot be healed after battle, lasts for two turns and undispellable. So yeah, this is what I'm going to presume because I'm writing through the whole tags. Uh, I'm going to presume that both loss of passive and un unable to heal will be lasting for two turns together and both are not dispellable. So if I'm wrong, kindly um, write in the comment sections below and correct me. But um, that's how I... That's based on my understanding after reading from the tag. So, yep. So, apparently, it's a uh, three in one. Sorry, a two in one skill. So, you're going to have a sword soul with his um, knockout skills that will disable enemies' passive. The only thing that is missing here is that um, the add attack to defense. Um, effect is not here but nonetheless it is very strong you got to remove five bar from el enemies make their passive skill disabled for two turns and not able to heal for two turns can and yet they are not able to dispel it so yep it's kind of strong so apparently you'll be thinking his 1c skills what is he going to use so you'll be more or less the combo might be a 1C for armor break. Then a 2C is for his act against skills, the Brilliance, Glo um, Brilliance Glory. Yep, that allows him to act again. And then you're going to get a free spam of his 3C skills that will be um, triggered again next turn. So, okay, this is very strong. I mean, it, it would be great if you can manage to do this for three times, I believe. You're gonna tell your enemy you cannot land Weezer throughout the game. Okay, so that's it um, for Elwin. So the the long wait for this tree so is over, and yup, it's finally um, something good. I guess it's something good and worth to be wait for. Then next we're gonna be our first all oh, characters. Lemmin is receiving his tree C skills. So yeah, um, the name of his tree C is called Wrath of Holy Soul. Sorry, it's a um, CD, it's a fight and CD, cast rain tree, the range is for squares or tiles, so apparently it's like an AOE damage skill, so hmm. there's a couple of effects, so I gotta say it's very cool. And again, he has passive and active. So alright, going with his passive, okay, um, basically he has two um, effects immune to curse wound and healing reversal so um curse wound will be uh when you got healed then the heal will instead turn into damage that is curse wound and healing reversal is uh, when characters like listel give you a touch of death so if you try to kill your allies all allies uh, will take damage instead so he's being immune with these two effects so um, it's very cool, and but then again, um, feel sad for my wife who is still so <laughs> she cannot land Weezer. 
Then all right, moving to his active skills. So it's an AOE skills. Deal 0.36 times AOE damage to enemies in range. This skill is effective against demon units. Number two, cause all squares or tiles hit to become land of holiness for two turns. Okay, all tiles that has been hit and gain this terrain effect, land of holiness, will receive um, these following effects towards enemy. So, land of holiness, when enemy move on the squares or tiles, at the end of their turn, remove a dispel, uh, sorry, dispel a buff from them. Then second, at the end of the turn, they'll receive a fixed damage based on the caster one times attack. So apparently this is going to be very useful because the other news, the next news I'm going to tell you guys is that not only Lewin is receiving a 3C, he is receiving his SP form, so he has his attack and damage greatly increased. So um, this is definitely a very great booster for not only L Lewin, but also from both Origin of Light and Glory of Light team, which um, we'll be talking more on at the next part of the video. So right and. His active skill is the AOE damage. You get a cost um, damage tiles to um, gain effect, land of holiness. When enemy end their turn, they're gonna get one buff dispel or remove, and they will receive one fixed damage based on Lewin's one times attack. So <laughs> that's gonna be quite strong and cool. And okay, last but not least, his animation. So yep. So I'm happy uh, this week's video finally going to see more guys' characters shining out. I mean, yep. <laughs> Sorry, we have come to the end. Watch to the end of the video for the the summary of all the new 3C for the characters. And then on the next part of the video, we'll be featuring two new characters, Elma and Curtis. And then followed by SP Elwin. So this is coming. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment sections below. See you guys on the next Language of 4.0 news from the future. Goodbye.